Okay, so the first step in creating uh, this marbleized look is that I'm going to use the gel polish in 001, which is a white base color on the mannequin or the model nails that you see right here. If you had a client that you were gonna do this on, I would say buff the nail very slightly. That way the polish has something to uh, grip onto and it will not come off the nail. So make sure that you do that and prep the nail correctly before you start your process. And I have done two coats of this gel polish on the nails and we're about to bring it out of the lamp. I have my darling lamp for UV and um, uh, sealing, sealing the gel polish. I'm sorry, I can't speak. Um, so this is about to be done. That way I can bring the nails out and you can see how I've done with those coats then the next step that i'm going to do is i'm going to use this velvet matte gel and according to the instructions i have to cure it for one to two minutes uh, depending if it's a uv or led this is led so i'm going to do that i'm going to remove the nails and then i'm going to do the velvet coat this is what it looks like with the polish uh, these nails, this the tips for the trainer nail, this is the trainer hand, the practice trainer hand, has this little bump here. Usually when I'm creating nails, I file that off with my e-file, but because of the purpose of this video, I had just put new tips on it. I didn't file it, but I left a little bit of space there for the cuticle because when you do gel, you really need to give a little bit of space so the gel doesn't touch the cuticle and it doesn't ruin the gel polish or it doesn't come off easily. So that's what it looks like with the first coat of the 001 uh, gel polish. And now you see how glossy these are. They are going to be matte completely as soon as I put the velvet and give it a minute to cure. So I'm doing thin coats and that's important for you to do. So here we go with the velvet. And this is a very thin coat. I just wanna make sure the entire nail is coated so the nails will be matte the next time I pull them out of the lamp. Okay, this is about to be cured and I'm gonna pull this out of the lamp. I'm gonna move the lamp aside because I'm not gonna need it for right now until we're done or I have some space. Okay, you see how matte these nails look? They're completely, completely sealed in uh, matte color, which is beautiful also if you have a different color that you wanna put on top of it. So now, let me move the practice hand aside. These are the Maxi Ink Sets. Again, if you haven't seen that video of me unboxing them, I will link it somewhere around here so you can see everything that the bag contains. So I'm gonna open my little Maxi bag. The Maxi Ink Set. These are alcohol based, and that's why alcohol works great, but Max Estrada has created this particular product to also work with monomer. So if you don't have um, alcohol at your reach, then you can use monomer, and he has a great cotton candy smell monomer that I love using, and it works the same. So here are the colors. I'm just gonna put them like this so you can see them. Um, we have like a green, a lilac, a blue, a purple, or I'm sorry, blue, purple, orange, um, and yellow. And the one thing I did realize and learned quickly when I was doing my nails is that there's two types of alcohol. You can find 91% alcohol and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Well, I use the 70% isopropyl alcohol and it didn't work as well as the 91% and I am going to be doing the 91% alcohol. I'm going to be putting it in a little jar right in here. Okay. And what's great about these uh, inks is that it comes already in a bottle and the, this has already a brush. So all I'm gonna do is just tap it on top and create the you design. You guys can see better, I'm gonna, I moved all the other fingers and I'm gonna start with this nail. And I am going to start using yellow, it's right here, and pink. So you, I can create this look. I use yellow, pink, and orange. And that's what I'm gonna do. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole process. Okay, I'm gonna do some yellow, then I'm going in with 
end with orange. And I'm just dabbing. There you go. That's all I'm doing. If I feel like I need a little bit more color, then I will definitely just add it on. Like I feel like I need a little bit more yellow here and here and maybe here. I might go crazy <laughs> with the color, but uh, you get the idea. Let me do a little bit more pink because I think I did too much orange there, but I think that's going to look pretty. Okay, let's start doing it. Even without me using the alcohol, this looks beautiful. I'm going to use the first brush I'm going to use is the um, gel brush. So let's see how this brush works. And you just dab it wherever you want to have your design done you see how that starts marbleizing you don't need the brush to be too wet because otherwise it will wipe off the alcohol ink and that is not what you're looking for so you're just looking to dab a little bit Oops, sorry and let's see I'm gonna dab a little bit here and here and a little bit here there we go there we go. I think that's perfect for me. I don't want to do absolutely anything else with that nail. Great. Let's move to the next one and let's do a different color. So while that is drying, because this ink has to dry, and then we're going to go over with the top coat. So that one's done. Let's do this one. I'm going to fold this nail back. Okay, let's do this one. Uh, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some yellow first, yellow all over the nail, okay, and then I'm going to put some purple on it. I think that's the trick. I mean, sometimes you just have to learn how to manipulate the colors and that's part of the fun of doing this. And I'm going to do some pink on that as well. So let's do pink. There we go. Okay, I think I like that better. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, um, the yellow again on this side. See how that yellow and pink makes the orange? Yep. This is like playing with primary colors. Okay, let's do this one more time. I'm gonna use the gel brush because I think that one worked better than the other brush. So let's do that. Let's just go in and touch it. I like really working with these products because they're very easy to manipulate. It's not, you don't, you know, you don't have to mess with them too much. I like that, but I think this has a spot right here. I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit. And then I'm going to put over that a little bit more purple. And, or you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more pink and see how that takes in but I love what it's doing. There we go, just a little bit more purple. I'm sorry, a little bit more pink. And now I'm going over with the alcohol. I mean, this is trial and error. Uh, does it always uh, work right and perfect? No, because we're just testing it. We're just going through the motions of seeing how this works, but it seems like it's doing a great job. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more here of that pink. I think this is beautiful the way it is and I should not touch it, but I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I hope I don't ruin it again. And I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow. I do think I need a little bit of yellow there. There we go, just a little bit, just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Let's go here, there we go. That's much better. Oh yeah, here we go. There we go, I think that looks amazing, amazing. Like I said, this is trial and error and you just have to practice at it. I think I can leave that nail just like that and look. it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to continue and let's do a 
third one. So let's do darker colors. Okay, I'm gonna do this green that I have right here in this kind of, uh, I think this is like a turquoise color, voice color. Uh, so let's see how this works. So let's do green and that turquoise color. Okay, let's do the last nail and um, let's do some yellow and purple maybe. I don't know. Let's see how that goes. Um, I want to try to do something different. I want to do yellow on the sides. Okay. And then I'm going to do some purple like on top of that and see what that happens does okay and maybe a little bit of purple here just creating a little vein you know just a dab there uh, let me put a little bit more yellow around it and see what that does yeah. I think I like that okay there we go <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little bit of purple again, but very dry this very little. Oops, that was too much. Oh, hate it. It looked so pretty when I was doing that. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool the way it looks just like that. I'm going to do a little bit of more of purple. Almost nothing. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I think that's good. And I'm going to go in with my brush again. Let's see. There we go. I think I like the nail just like that without touching it too much. You definitely have to have a light hand on the alcohol because otherwise it will disperse in a way that you don't want it to. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow here because I think it needs it. Then I'm not going to touch it anymore. I think that's good. There we go. I think that looks amazing. barely touching it okay so let's look at our artwork I think that looks pretty I have to let it dry let's look at the other ones that we have created it and you know definitely um, trial and error you know I can notice that in some places I put way too much alcohol so you don't want to do that the less alcohol the more beautiful it's gonna look 
or if you do a lot of alcohol and you use very light colors it seems like it looks beautiful i haven't done the top gloss but and i love this one this is i think is my favorite because it's like has that emerald look i wonder if i can tap it now that it's completely dry with a little bit of alcohol and see what happens just a dab there and a dab here not too much there we go. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I love that one. It's my favorite. And this one looks like a whole flower. You know, it's all in the combination of colors that you definitely use for the nail. But let's do the top coat on them and see the final results. Okay, so I am going to use the Shine E, which is a non-wipe top coat. So I'm going to start with these with the same one that I started at the beginning just to make sure that this is dry and it's not going to ruin my colors. And I'm just floating the gel. I'm not really scraping on anything because I don't want that color to move. So just floating that gel, that top coat. It brings everything together. Look how beautiful that looks gorgeous i love it let's do the same oh i love how that looks <gasps> oh it's gonna be beautiful okay 30 seconds in the lamp and that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay just remove the lamp and this is the final result Oh, I love it. These Maxi Ink uh, set, can you can do a variety of uh, things. I think I did this one. It's like the one I have on my nail right now. And this is completely dry, so you don't have to remove the tacky layer. Uh, but I think next time I'm going to do the yellow and the purple. That seems to be my favorite. And this emerald green one. Uh, that looks like a gem, like a rock stone, like a mineral. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now, the only thing I would do differently next time is after I do that, I would kind of put a little bit of sparkles around it and uh, just to make it a little bit shiny because I like a lot of sparkles. But this turned out to be beautiful. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I did creating it and that you try these products and just uh, leave me your comments down below and tell me how, how it goes, how it went. How did you make it happen? What design did you do? Follow me on Instagram under Created by Annette and post something, link something. Just show me what you did on Facebook. So until next time, you guys, God bless.